Hi, this is Gar from Prequilt. For this video, we are going to learn how to change the sizes of the rows and columns as well as adding additional rows and columns to your quilt. We're going to try to recreate something that looks like this. Um, so let's take a look at how this quilt was made. This quilt is made up of a column that's five inches wide um, by and this one is uh, one inch, which is much thinner. And it has three blocks that look like leaves and then one skinny one for the stem. So let's create a new quilt by going into our dashboard and click here to create a new quilt. So to start, I want to make a selection to the columns that I want to resize. So we have a shortcut here to select column evens. So it'll select two, four, six, eight, ten. So all the even columns. And I'm going to go to resize and I'm going to change that five to a one. And now I want to uh, create a block that is one inch by five inch. So there's a little tip uh, where you could create a new block to ensure that the block will fit exactly to the selected cell. So I'm going to select the cell and then when I click on to make custom blocks, it's going to take the dimensions of the cell, which is one inch by five inch, and it uses that as a starting point. This way it ensures the an exact fit. So I'm going to fill this background with a solid black and I'm going to scale this up to fill it. And you'll notice that, um, well, I just want to mention that the shape, this black shape, is linked to a color tag, uh, which is color tag B. So I'm using a color tag as instead of a static color. And the reason why is because uh, I want to use the randomized colors uh, when the design is done. And in order to use the randomized colors, uh, the shape needs to be linked to a color tag. Okay, So I'm going to close this off, the block editor. And now I'm ready to fill it in. So again, I'm going to make the selection where I want to fill it in. And then go to apply. So I'm going to delete this HST. And now I'm going to create a new block, which looks like a petal. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to select that and then make custom block and then add this shape. And then, so again, this one is using uh, color tag B. And now I'm going to put a new shape. And this time I'm going to use that A for that. And I want to clone this and put it up here. So I'm going to clone it and then rotate it and then position it and so close this off and I want to add this new oh, I should put a, a name here so I'm going to call this leaf okay so I'm going to put this uh, leaf block in the column odds and now I want to apply some kind of a rotation like random rotation I could go in here and just uh, just kind of double click them, but uh, I want to use the random rotation. So I'm going to select the column odds and then click on to uh, the random rotation. Now I think uh, I want to clone this to give it um, various colors. So clone this and then go into the block editor again. And this time select the black shape and then I'm gonna link that shape to the C. So I'm not too concerned about the colors at this point. Uh, okay, so now I want to apply this uh, block throughout here. So I could just go and just randomly click here but again, we have a um, ra randomized uh, function for that. So I'm going to select, make a selection to the column odds again, and then click on to randomize blocks. Uh, so you'll notice that it went through all three of the blocks, and then it included the stems here, 
which I don't want to use the stem. So I can go into the randomize block settings and then ignore the stems. And now I can click on this again. So now you'll notice that it only uses the uh, two blocks. So this is good. I want to now uh, clone one more block and add a third leaf to it. And then go in here. Okay, oops, uh, so select the shape. And now I want to uh, create a new color tag. This time I'm gonna call it D. And so again, it doesn't matter what color it is because I'm gonna be changing it anyways when I uh, randomly change the colors. So this shape is linked to color tag D. And again, I'm going to uh, use the random uh, blocks. So go in here and then click on the blocks. So you'll notice that now it has uh, three blocks and it's kind of evenly distributed. This is 12, uh, 22, and 16. Um, maybe I'll select some of these uh, green ones and then add the black and that changes it to 14, a little bit more even. Uh, you can always go in here and double click if you want to change the rotations. So, um, so now I'm going to randomly uh, change the colors. So I want to just keep clicking this and you'll notice every time I click it, it goes through every one of these color tags and then changes it. Okay. I kind of like the green, kind of like the green background. So I'm going to lock this and then continue randomly rotating until I find a color that complements that dark green. Maybe I, I'll change this to a dark blue and then uh, this all right okay so this is pretty good for now um, this kind of looks weird um, just kind of finish this off by adding an additional column because I don't like how this ends right here with the stem so I'm going to click this and this works very much like a spreadsheet because uh, you can insert a column after that. And then I'm going to just do it really quick by copying this whole column. And then I want to paste it right here and maybe just change the rotation so it doesn't look like I copied and pasted it. And so that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to download this uh, image. And clicking here will download this image to my computer. And clicking here will download this image, which outlines all the Kona colors that I use, as well as all 110 blocks. So I hope you found this video helpful to uh, show you how to change the sizes of the columns, as well as um, adding new columns. So this idea works exactly the same if you want to change the size of the rows as well. So if you have any questions, please write them down in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, consider following us if you want to uh, keep up to date with the new tutorials. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you